Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're looking at space weather, a meteor that burned up during entry over Japan, another sprinkle on the cake of They Don't Know Nova, and triggers of seismic activity in California. Let's start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where a few small M-class solar flares act like an alert for the incoming sunspots. The coronal hole has been shrinking, that's a good thing, and while its solar wind may arrive in the next day or two, it will be minor. The bigger concern comes for what we can't see just yet, cresting over the limb. Bright flashing, more CMEs coming from the left side. We may even get a good glimpse of the new active regions by this evening as they turn into view to join the spots we already have on the disk. Eyes open. The solar watch we've discussed for a while, the Riger cycle uptick, may begin a week earlier than forecast. Folks, this is the meteor that came in last night over Japan, burned up brightly and very quickly. Lots of different angles on this one if you want to check out the internet today. Up next, folks, we're now about five years past my first video about how little they know about Nova events, and they keep adding new ones and new star types that can produce the older ones. This is yet another brand new type, sort of. Once again, they are watching the aftermath and making guesses about what happened long ago, and in this case, I actually think it's far more likely this was just a micronova dust production event, just like what happened to Betelgeuse. Good looking animation, though. Lastly, folks, geomagnetic disturbances, solar storm impact to earthquakes in California. Correlations found for specifically the geofield region, with a weaker correlation across the entire northern part of the state. They correctly point to the electromagnetic influence on fluids in the crust, which is what we've been saying for a very long time, including in the recent Science Blitz video. Folks, Pole Shift Conference yesterday was pretty awesome at Observer Ranch. Here's what we've got in the weeks ahead and the months ahead as well. Still plenty of time to come out and see us at one of our big events, and folks, it's actually looking like we're aiming to do the premiere event for the documentary on November 15th. We are working to confirm that in the next couple of days after many of you told me you don't want me to do it Thanksgiving weekend. Head over to ObserverRanch.com and check it all out and book your stay. We can't wait to shake your hand. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.